My dog Nanook and I are out today um, because our meat supply is running low. We live off the grid out here. My dog and I have been eating uh, wild game since September, living off it, other than uh, staples like rice and veggies and stuff like that. But uh, we've eaten through most of it other than some lynx meat. So today we're going out to set some bunny snares, see if we can get some snowshoe hair and uh, add some variety back to uh, the table fair. So this is what I'm looking for. These are the tracks of the snowshoe hare. Uh, there's a good pinpoint up in there, ideal for me to set a snare. And uh, you can see where they've been chewing uh, bark off the branches. That's what they, they live off in the winter. What I've done is uh, attach the snare to a, a pole like this that acts as a toggle. So he'll go through get caught and then the toggle gets tangled in the brush. Nanook and I are just about to head out to town. Gotta get some gas for the generator and uh, a few other things. But we're gonna make a pit stop at those snares and uh, see how we did. Pretty uh, special experience having a dog that works for you, works with you, I should say. You know, a lot of times he's the one feeding me, flushing game and spotting things I don't see. So it's more of a, a partnership than uh, a case of, you know, me being the master. But uh, we understand each other. And he understands a lot of the goals and things that I have in mind and even anticipates them. And uh, it's a hell of an experience being outdoors with a dog that, um, you know, can handle himself out here. Oftentimes he's hunting for his own food. And it's just a real pleasure.
This is our first snare. There was our bunny here for sure. He kind of pushed it aside, nudged it, and went around it. As you can see, it's kind of off center. So we'll fix that one up and uh, keep checking. Another empty one. Not good. That's where we had the, the third snare. As you can see, it caught a rabbit. That one will go to him. Hopefully, uh, there's another one for me. Let's go. Not a boy. These guys are a cousin to the Wolverine, uh, pound for pound, uh, one of the toughest, uh, toughest animals out there and uh, they, they eat just about everything, things much bigger than them. Home sweet home. Well, there you have it. That's uh, a day or a couple days in the life of uh, of Clint these days. <laughs> um, I got a beaver pelt here. I got to board and flesh and get ready for auction. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, you know, where's uh, where's the canoe videos? And the truth is, uh, I want to make some too. Um, last year I did a lot of canoeing, but I was kind of out there just for my own self and uh, kind of seeking some direction and things and, and also working on a, a bit of a well not a bit of a big film project with a couple other guys and uh, that's been my main focus and but I promise to this spring uh, we'll be back on the water and the, the canoe Nanook and I and with the camera so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy trails guys